Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Legea 2. Today we're continuing, and we're gonna go ahead and finally go to Derek's Haunt. Um, so yeah, let's just go. Real quickly, I did do some grinding in between this episode and last episode, so everyone is about 4 to 5 levels higher, and we have about 300,000 gold on us at the moment. So, we're quite over leveled, and we have a lot of gold. So that'll help us in the next coming episodes. Whoa, this is a pirate ship? Sure is. Stop right there. Who the heck are you? You know that you're in a pirate hideout, don't you? This ain't no place for kids. Be off now. You want to keep your head on your shoulders, that is. Boy, bite me. I like my head right where it is, thank you. What's all this about, guns? Boss, is that you? It's so good to see you. Back, ma'am. Question mark. Don't try to be polite now. You already insulted my guests, you dimwit. If my father were still here, he'd have cut off one of your arms, I bet. Isn't that right, Guns? Not that. Please, boss. I don't know. I'm sorry. Not, boss, how many times do I have to tell you that you call me Captain? When are you gonna when, when are you going to get it right? Spread the word, Guns. The captain's back. I have brought guests. You got it. I mean, Captain. We back, boys. Sigh. Why do they call you boss, Sharon? Uh huh. Because I am the boss, leader of the most feared pirating outfit that ever sailed the seas. That's me, and captain of the strongest pirate ship in the world, the Bloodhawk. So I bet this comes as a shock to you all. Huh? What's wrong? Why aren't you surprised? Why would we be? Why would we be surprised? I, I've, I've been waiting for this moment with such anticipation, you have no idea. This this was supposed to be the big event where I finally tell you who I really am, a normal person would freak out. Here I am acting as if my life depended on it, and I get nothing from you. You've got no heart, people. No heart. Sheesh. Oh well, forget about it. Come on, let me show you around the hideout. I think it's about time you told me what it is you're after, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Whatever. Same thing. Alright, let's check out the place. So that's another reason why I grinded out. Okay, might as well just show you. What am I doing? So, Aqua's level 47, Maya 46, Sharon 49, and we have 400,000 gold. Um, they also learned some new things, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I forgot to put... Okay, I should probably put that on. Um, they have a couple new abilities and stuff, which we'll look at later. But I guess, um, let's take a look. What's over here? Okay, there's nothing. There's a chest. Might as well quickly grab this chest. Restore leaf. I don't even know why they have, like, that one. Like, one thing I don't get about games is they made this entire area just for that one little chest. Like, couldn't you put something nice in that chest, at least? Okay, okay, I don't need to hear anymore. I think I've got a handle on it. I've got to tell you, though, this Avalon guy in the Source Forge. It sure sounds like you picked quite a fight for yourselves, don't you think? Alphys Blade. He was my father. When he's... When he was still the boss, he had a fleet of pirate ships and over 200 people working for him. But something happened. His first mate left, and then one by one, others started to leave. Now the few of us that are left spend our days hiding out in this hole like rats. I made a promise to my father. I promised that one day, one day I would make things the way that they used to be. No matter what it takes, we're going to have a fleet again and rule the open seas. In order to do that, I've got to do something really big, something that'll shock the entire world, something something that will make Sharon Blade so famous that people will come here begging to join us. Hmm. There is no guarantee that people will thank you for helping us. All our efforts may come to naught. That's true, but I'm sick and tired of hiding out here like a stinking rat. It's times like this 
I know I'm my father's daughter. Just talking about something like this has my blood pumping. And now that I know what you're up against, I'm staying in for the long haul. I'm going to help you. I ship my men, and I are at your disposal, Aqua. Let's definitely accept our offer. Thanks, Sharon. We're going to win this fight, and we're going to do it together. You better believe it. We're going to be the most fierce pirates in all the... Oops, we're supposed to be saving the world, right? Well, let's not quabble. We're going to make a big splash. I thought you would turn us down, but you look more eager than we are. You really are, Alpha's daughter. Alpha's daughter? Hmm. Do you know my father? Of course I did. There isn't a soul alive that hasn't heard about Alpha's blade. Man of the sea. That's right. See? He knows what to say. My father was a man of the sea, and I'm a woman of the sea. Alright, you scoundrels. Get ready to weigh anchor. Come on now. Put some spring in your step. Roger. You got it, boss. Aye, aye. <laughs> it's a small crew, but they're the best at what they do. Let's go. The sea's a calling. Alright, let's get a move on. Is there anything for me to steal? steal anything doesn't look like it All right, let's go upstairs let's see if there's anything to steal in here uh, no I'm not gonna take a nap here because that'll probably actually lower my HP Jane where are you this is my sister's room I don't even let her crew inside let alone strangers uh, just make an excuse Sharon asked me to get a map from her room. Just let me in to get that, and then I'll leave. If my sister wants a map, then I'll bring it to her. You can't go inside. Hmm, maybe I should try again later. Can oh, is it, can I just switch to Sharon? But I forgot we're not in the... Um... Crap. But we can't force our way in, so it looks like we're gonna have to come back later. Probably on a different... Uh, different like part of this like later in the plot Open time to get to work hurry and get the ship ready. We're off to Just where are we off to aqua? I'm pretty sure that the pyrolith is on the volcanic isle the Volcanic isle the only volcanic isle in these parts is uh, I believe he means the island of draconia to the southwest captain but, just where are we supposed to be looking for there? Why treasure, of course. What else would we be looking for? Um, actually, we're looking for the Pyrolith. Pyrolith? Is that some kind of humongous ruby? But it's big enough to make us all rich. Captain, I hate to spoil this little party, but the ship won't budge. What? What's wrong with it, Dupin? The Thunderwind Stone is dead. Without a replacement, we're dead in the water. Thunderwind Stone? Not a problem, we picked it. Up one at the Thunder Mine, didn't we, Aqua? You mean that rock? What about it? The ship is powered by a Thunder Wind Stone. Don't ask me how it works, but it lets us conjure up the wind whenever we need it. So yeah, uh, last episode we technically weren't supposed to do it yet, but we did it. Well, here then. Give the Thunder Wind Stone to Dupin. Whoa, it's huge! I've never seen a Thunder Wind Stone this big. A rock that size should last us a hundred years or more. I'll go install it right away. So it's a good thing we got that done earlier. Okay, we've got our Thunderwind Stone. It's time to get this adventure underway. Captain, I've replaced the Thunderwind Stone. Ready whenever you are. Alrighty then, get cracking, mateys. Way anchor. Aye, aye, Captain. Very nice. Get the ship moving. Let's get it. It's Kenjiro! I bet there's some money to be made on this trip. A lot of money. I'll just sneak on, they won't even notice. Bro, Kenjiro, you weird little man. Alright, so first time in the game, we're leaving the island. We're going on to a different island, a different place. Very nice. Alright, so we're going to the volcanic isle. And, yeah, like I said, we overleveled in between episodes. So this place should be fairly easy, considering we're almost level 50. I think this place should be left fairly easy. I don't know though. I guess we'll see, right? Wow, I can't believe it. Who knew there was a path like this on the Volcanic Isle? The treasure must be further inside, right? Do you think the pilot is inside, Master? 
I've never been here before. What makes you think I would know? But there are footprints. It looks like someone's been here. That's right. Didn't that one say that they were heading south to look for the sacred stones? These footprints could be theirs. Look at this. See? There's a treasure here after all. Hmm. What the hell is this? It's just a lousy glass ball. Follow the narrow path. It leads to the, um... You can read this, Maya. Looks a lot like the letters we use in my village, but I can't read all of it. What does it mean? What are we supposed to do now? Ah, stupid Kenjiro. It's a good thing I tagged along. What the hell is this? Uh, Kenjiro, what are you doing here? I knew I'd make some money on this trip. I heard you at the pirate hideout, so I stuck on board. You stuck on board my ship? Well, well, we can't have that now, can we? Oh, just calm down, Captain. Don't, don't, don't do anything rash. There's only one way to deal with stowaways. It's not pretty. Sharon, I, I, I can help you if I'm dead. I've seen them before. The letters, those letters in the magic circle, I, I know them. If you kill me, you have no idea what it says. Is that so? You better be telling the truth for your sake. Well, speak up. What does it say? Let's see, um... I don't know. <laughs> That's it, let me at him. Go, let me finish. When I said that I knew the letters, I meant that I know the island they, where they came from. An island? Um, it's an island called Jinga. It's southeast of Kanza. There are giant ruins there. Really? I didn't think there were any inhabited islands in the southeast. You better not be lying. I'd be careful with my words if I were you. Got it? Yeah, yes, ma'am. I swear on my mother's grave that I'm telling the truth. I've done business with people there. Those letters are exactly the same as the ones they use there. What do you want to do, Aqua? If there's something on that island that'll help us make progress, we should go check it out. Kenjiro, you said that Jinga is southeast of Kanza, right? Aqua, does that mean you believe me? You're a smart man, alright? A smart man. Just what do you mean by that? You're surprised that he believed you, huh? If I find out you're lying, well... I'm not. I'm telling the truth. Honest. Well, I don't believe you, but Aki seems to. You're the only one that knows the way back to the ship with you. You got a problem with that? I'd be happy to lop off the head right now. I don't have a problem, man. Jinga, the island of ruins. Could be lying, but should we try to find it anyway, Aqua? Yeah, we have to try. Alright, so apparently we're not coming here then. It looks like letters from Mizo, but I don't know what it says. According to so, Okay. Okay. So there's nothing over here. We definitely just have to go to this island. Fine. Okay, so we have to go... Yeah, we have to go Hills of Giants, Jenga. And... A little spoiler alert, although it's not that big of a spoiler, we do get another character here, and our last character of the game, I'm pretty sure. And we're not going to be using him, so... But I'm just telling you, we're probably going to get a character here. But this is a very, very cool place. Like, I, I said you know was my favorite place in this entire world. This is definitely my probably my second favorite place. Actually, no, my third. It's one of the statues revered by the people of Jinga. I wonder if there's, like, encounters or, like, battles. Well, we might as well save. I mean, I would think there'd be battles here. Alright, so let's save right here. Hello? That's a big bird. That is a dragon. Yikes. What's that? 
Hey, there's somebody right there. Interesting. I guess let's go see what is up. Well, let's check out what's over here. And there is because... I don't know, and also, I could probably just go to the shops and buy better equipment before if there's a fight here. But we're over level. Eh, whatever. Let's just go to him first and we'll check out everything else. I still have people here. Hmm. Man, I, I could go check out all the shops and stuff. Whatever. Let's just go check whatever he's after first. Leave this place, heathens. Silent Eagle. These people are different. They are nature speakers. Nature speakers? It is as the spirits predicted. Time has come. You are the nature speakers. I believe they call you the mystics now. What do you mean predicted? Spirit Rain told me that you would come to these islands. These lands. Come with me, nature speakers. Chief Westwind, what of the tribal law? Does it does not our law forbid contact with those from the outside? Do not let that concern you now, Silent Come. There's much to tell and little time. Uh, let's go inside. Bum, 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 bum. You came seeking answers, did you not? Something that only I would be able to answer, correct? Yes, we're trying to get further into the volcanic isle, but we're stuck. There's this place with letters carved into the ground and some kind of jewel in the center. You speak of the earth crest. You must sit on it. Is that it? The earth crest is a door, an entrance to a narrow passage, one through which only the cabell may pass. How do you know about the cabell? I have watched the world for many, many years now. Their legends have not passed yet from this island. The cabell were a people that sought to control the world through magic. Control the world through magic? Are you of the cabell, cabell line? Never mind. I must be mistaken. Yeah, she is actually, so. That's a yikes. The Cabell believed they were chosen. They even called themselves the chosen ones. And what they craved was power. With each new power they acquired, they lost a bit of their humanity. By that time they controlled nature, even life and death itself, they believed themselves all powerful. If the Cabell were destroyed. Ow. Cabell were destroyed by humans. Their arrogance proved to be their downfall. The Cabell were overconfident in their powers. They started to believe that they were not human, but gods. At least that was their claim. The rest of humanity feared their control. They wanted to save the world and it compelled them to action. The ability, the ability to survive, enjoyed by all humanity, had been weakened in the Cabell due to their dependence on magic. So when the wars began, the Cabell were indeed powerful, but were lacking something. Humanity prevailed in the end. When the fighting was over, the world was a little bit more than a wasteland. It was ages before the world returned to normal. Our one tribal law is as old as, the leg as that legend. We can have nothing to do with the outside world. That is our law. From our perspective, the outside world is full of heathens. Getting involved would make us impure as well. These tablets were created by our ancestors so that we could communicate with the spirits, but I am the only one left that is able to communicate now. 
nature speakers. The spirit told me that you would come here and why. If the legends of my ancestors are true, you are searching for the altar of fire on the volcanic isle. However, you will never reach it unless you go through the earth crest. What's this? This is the blue sky shard. With this, the earth crest should lead you to the altar of fire. There is one more thing. I would like you to take Silent Eagle with you. Chief Westwind, but why? The end is quickly approaching. We can no longer sit by idle and idly and watch. The time has come to act. Our tribe lives on this world too. They are part of this world, Silent Eagle. You, the most noble and strongest of our warriors, are the only one fit to complete this task. Nature Speakers, what you say. Let's take him on. We'd be happy to have him. Are you willing to fight with us? I cannot. I will follow the orders of Chief Westwind, but I will not follow you. You must help each other, Silent Eagle. You are hereby exempt from the law until your task is complete. But Listen to me, Silent Eagle. The law applies only to the living. If the world is destroyed, there will be no living and the law will be useless. Um, Silent, I do not wish for you to call me by that name. You may call me... Let's call him Aim. Aim is fine. I like that name. Yeah. Why don't I just call you Aim, okay? Fine. Nature Speakers, we have many valuable items that can only be found here. Some may prove to be useful in your journey. However, we have no use for money from the outside. If you have something of equal value, you may be able to trade it. Ain has joined the party. Okay, so we can't use money here. That's new. Okay, so we took we got Silent Eagle. Um. Um. Yeah. Okay. Something about nicknames. Okay, so we got Ain. Like I said, new character. Um, we're not gonna use him. Um, let's see. How, what's his level? Level 46. That's actually, that kind of shows you how overleveled we really are. Because basically, whenever you get a new character, they're supposed to be a lot stronger than your other characters, just to make up for, like, um, the spike in the next dungeon. But all of our characters are almost equal to his level. So that just shows how, like, overleveled we are, which is nice. So, let's quickly check out the rest of this town. Um, this place is so stupidly big that I just kind of don't really know how to traverse this place, but, um, we'll figure it out. Okay, so this is a dead end over here. And I do want to check out this entire place in this episode, so... I'm guessing this is probably another dead end, but I'm going to check every single. Okay, so it's not—it's a dead end, but at least it's a chest. Restore blossom. It's a good healing item, but once again, I mean, really useless. This place is huge, man. Alright, so this is the center that leads to the main temple. So on the two wings, there should be the. Um, Silent Eagle is the strongest member of our tribe, who will be proved to be an invaluable asset. I'm sure he will, although I will not use him, so that sucks. Okay, so I guess let's check out this area first. So, the only place on the left here is up here, but there are two, so two ways. Let's check out this way first, and then I know there's a building up there, so what is this? There are giant... Okay. So I'm guessing that's just the lookout spot. So let's, let's check out what is over here. Oh, didn't we already check out? There's... Okay, so there's nothing over here. It's kind of dead end. Let's go check out our first shop slash uh, building. I don't know what this is. I'm guessing it's a shop, but... Yeah, it looks like a shop because there's like stuff here. Heal bottle. Let's see if we can steal anything else. Those are very big beds. Okay, let's see what you have to sell. 
uh, so that when the black sun swallows the world, the nature speakers would come. You'll be the one with whom he speaks. I have rocks and leather gathered by ancestors. Would you like to trade? Okay, so we can trade. Let's go ahead and trade. Um, let's trade two. And we don't really have any of these. Okay, let's trade for five of those. Trade for seven of those. Okay. Let's see what we can trade with this guy. Okay, so we can't trade any, any of this. Okay, so that's... Here we can only trade. Now, I was hoping we could trade maybe materials for weapons. But it looks like they only take weapons for other weapons, which is kind of... Um, literally just last episode, we... Jeez, we're getting lost here. Just last episode, we basically sold all of our extra weapons. I mean, those weapons were very, very weak, so I don't think they would even take them here. But still. Okay, let's check out. Okay, there's nothing over here. There's nothing on that side. Let's check out this building. I'm guessing these people probably trade for healing items. Alright, so we have... Oh, this one's for food. Okay, we have we have a bit of every food, so we don't need anything from here. Okay. So here we can trade for healing items. Restore leaf. Um, let's get out of here. Okay, there's nothing over there. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything. Let's go all the way down here. All the way down. Anything over here. Okay, so there is another set of stairs. Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Might be another chest. Nope. Okay. Set up this, these stairs. Okay, this looks like another building. Probably nothing over here, right? Nope. Alright, let's see. I'm guessing this is just maybe a house. I don't think these guys sell anything. Maybe. Oh, so this is this is um, Ains. Must be okay. These are Ains. This is Ains' house. His parents. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything special in there though. All right, everybody. So, um, I think we finished up with what we have here. Now we can go back to the volcanic isle. But we're going to be doing that. Uh, after we get this chest, Silver Brom. After this next episode, not yet. Yeah, next episode, guys. So, um, yeah, I think we did enough for today. We found, we went to Derek's Haunt. Uh, we went to the Volcanic Isle, and we got a new character, which is really, really nice. So, guys, if you did enjoy watching, make sure to like in the comments, and I will see you guys later. God bless, and.